The Sony XAV AX100, uh, when starting, has a warning screen that you have to press uh, OK to accept it. Um, in this video, it just quickly shows what the boot screen looks like. Uh, you start it up, it says Sony. This guy even timed the boot time. Um, and let's see. There we go. So right there, how it says, for your safety, right? And you have to press OK. And a lot of people get frustrated by it. Um, I don't really find that big of a deal, but a lot of people don't really like it. Now, somebody named Dave, or David, has program uh, changed the actual software update, and this is his actual video on YouTube, showing that uh, with a different software loaded, it won't do the, the safety thing that you have to press OK. So as you can see here, and I believe this is his actual car, it just goes right to the home screen. Now, um, it's pretty awesome that he did this. Uh, all, like, uh, he definitely did a bunch of work to make this all possible. If you go to um, XDA Developers, he has it all posted on the forum there with a link to, uh, I guess it's GitHub, G-I-T Hub. And I'll post all these links at the bottom of this video as well. Now, when you're on this website, there's, if you click on the caution disable, it even has explanation of what it does. Also a warning saying this is modifying the factory firmware. If something does go wrong, it could break your unit. Um, I'm going to attempt to do this and hopefully it doesn't break the unit. And uh, it seems like he's done this on several radios and other people have done it as well. Now, I'm making this video just to show how I do it because uh, I think it could be probably a little confusing if you don't really know. And we'll see if this works for me. So if you go to, or I'll put the links in the bottom, but if you go to this website, you're going to click uh, clone or download. And then I said uh, download zip. Now it's going to download there to my download files. Once it's done, so you can see it down here, it's going. So we go down to my download files. It's now a zip file. And it's now should be unzipped. Where is it? No. There we go. Oh, it was there. Okay. So I click that open there. So now I have this file open here. This is a USB drive, which I've already formatted. Uh, in a different video, I did the Sony update. This is the Sony update file right here. Um, so inside this, you'll see it says customer pack B. And so this is the actual update file that uh, Sony released if you download it from their website, which I have another video showing how to do. If you go here, he has a file also called update, which I'm gonna drag over into the USB drive and let that copy. And when you, if, or if you open up this file, which I'll do once it copies over, just to show you, it still has the same uh, customer pack B and such on there with a couple added things in there. So we got customer pack B and that, then he has these other files or programs, which I believe is what actually stops the uh, file from, um, uh, boot or start, start booting. Now, I don't really know exactly what I'm talking about, so I may be making a lot of mistakes in what I'm saying, but I just noticed that there was that difference. I'm not sure exactly where he made the changes, but that's what I see. Um, so now that's download onto there. I'm going to eject the Lex, uh, my USB drive and then plug it in the car and do the update. I'm going to uh, try to update the um, radio with the, I'm just going to turn this light off, with the uh, new software to hopefully remove the uh, boot up this thing. So I'm just going to turn this down. The boot up like safety screen. Now I've plugged in the USB drive like with the update and one of the things is is that before doing this you need to make sure that your um, update or your radio has the most current update. So you can go settings, and you want to make sure that when you go to the bottom, you go firmware version, it's at 
0.06. So I've got that updated. Um, I've got the USB plugged in and let's see what happens. So we're going to update and here we go. Uh, <clears throat> now one, like I just said, you have to make sure that your stereo already has the most current update and, um, and, uh, I have a video showing how to do that. Um, it's very simple, basically what I'm doing right now. Then once that's updated, then you can load the new software that has the extra, uh, program in it to disable the, uh, safety screen when turning on the radio. Um, so it does that reboot. Everything seems to be going normally. And let's see. And I'm pretty sure in his instructions it says that it's going to kind of turn off, turn the screen off like this. So um, I don't know if it has something to do with the new update, but we'll see. Uh, he has, uh, the guy who did this program has a video showing his working and he has some comments below it about, um, how to do it and such. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> so when I did the original update, it didn't go blank like that, um, for the update part. But, hey, look at that. Not bricked. That's a good thing. <laughs> And, okay. Now if I go to tuner, okay, so everything reset again, which is okay. We go home, beep's still there. Now, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to unplug the USB drive. <clears throat> and, let's see. Mission on. Let's see if it comes up with that uh, button press that we have to normally do. This camera really does not like focusing at night. Normally would go to the screen. And look at that. It works. Awesome. Well, it's official. It works. Um, like I said, I'll put the links down in the bottom for what to follow. And a big shout out to uh, David, I don't know if it's David Bass or something like that, who did this uh, programming. And uh, all credit goes towards him for the work that he did. And it seems to be working beautifully. So thank you very much for doing that. And I hope that uh, this video kind of shows people how to do it and to get it to work.